Hey developers, today we're going to look at Nux3. We're going to take a look at routing, how you can create dynamic route, something called Nux page, and then we're going to create a full application that takes all these into consideration where we look up a TV episode API and list the episodes from it. So this is really exciting. I hope you guys can stay all the way to the end. And if you guys like these videos, make sure you click that like button and subscribe. So let's dive on into it. Here is a brand new Nux3 application out of the box. And I have it open in VS Code. On the right hand side, you can see there's not much here, but there is an app.view file. And inside that, you just have this Nuxt welcome component, which is a built-in component. You won't find it here inside the directory structure. And when you run the app, you'll see this starter page that gives you links to the documentation, GitHub and Twitter, and it just tells you to remove this. So the first thing, if you're working with routing, if you don't need any routing at all, and you just want one page, you can simply just remove the Nuxt welcome, I don't know, and just use this page by itself. And if I just, save hello world here you can see i just have a hello world app not much to it now obviously since we are wanting to do some routing this is not exactly what we want so what i would recommend is inside your editor open up the directory structure and just do a new folder and call it pages and this is internally known to nuxt that this is where you want to put your pages and then you'll see right away there's some issue that says page not found. So what I'd like to do here is I'm going to create a new file. I'm going to call it index.view and, and put a template here and I'm just going to say, I should probably put another hello world but maybe I'll put in hello from pages. And you can see it still doesn't work. So what you need to do is in your app.view file, instead of having this hello world here, we can have something called Nuxt page. And Nuxt page is just a way for us to tell Nuxt that we are going to be using the pages folder. Now, after you do that, you may need to stop and restart your server. So I already have one running here, so I'm gonna stop and restart it. And then after I do that, I'll just refresh the page. It just takes, just, I don't know, 10, 15 seconds for it to load again, and cool. So now we have hello from pages. And you can see here too that if I put anything in this app view file, it's basically surrounds the whole app. So if I put in hello from app here and save it, you can see now hello from app is showing at the top, and then I have hello from pages. Now later on, there's actually something called Nux layout that you will look at but we'll save that for later in a different video. So now since I have pages here, this is essentially where I'm gonna put everything in our app. Now we're gonna use the script setup uh, for everything, but you could use the options API. Uh, so if I wanted to, I can just right up here, I can put in my script uh, setup, and I always do lang equals TypeScript, because that's what it is. And then if I wanted to, I can create a variable. I don't know, hello, hello. And then of course I can put that variable in here anywhere. So you see, it still works. Now, if I wanted to create multiple routes and you can see here, I'm just on the root route right here and that's what's in this pages index.view. Let's say I wanted to create a route called search. So I'm gonna create a new folder, I'm gonna call it search. And then in the search, I'm gonna create a new file called index.view. And this'll be where I can put in stuff for my search uh, route. And I could say, just to keep the same theme, same theme, hello from routes, a search. I save it here. And then I change the top up here to slash search and I refresh it. And sometimes when you create new files and folders, you definitely need to stop and restart the server. So I'll do that and I'll refresh it. Cool, so we have hello from search here. And if we go back to the root, hello from pages. Now, if I wanted to have a dynamic route, in other words, I wanted to be able to put slash search here and then a number and have that be dynamic, we can do that too. So to do that under a search, I'm gonna create a new file, but this time I'm gonna put these brackets around it. So I'm gonna put bracket ID, bracket dot view. And that's a way to tell Nux that you're gonna have a dynamic route. And you can actually do that with the directories too. You can have these 
brackets in the directories, but we'll just have in this file here. And I'm gonna have a template here, and instead of doing hello from this search, I'm gonna put in something different. I'm gonna do an H1, but I can do this dot route dot params dot ID, and that'll tell me the, the actual route param that I'm passing in. So I'm gonna, once again, I'm gonna stop the server and restart it, and we're gonna see if this works. Okay, so I'm back up, so I'm gonna do search, and then I'm gonna put four, five, six, Cool, so you can see here it shows the route. So this 456 is showing up in here. We can also get the route information by, uh, let's say we create a script setup, lang equals ts. And then we wanted to grab it some other way. We can grab it using this use route. So we const use route, we'll do const route equals use route. And then this route would be the same thing. So I don't need this dollar sign here. I could do route params.id. If I search, it still works. And you can see here if I do console log route route.params.id, refresh it, and then I look in the console, which is right here, you see route 456. So that's another way of getting it. And then you can actually use it inside your script tag. Let me show you how you can link between different pages. So here's our root, and by the way, it recommends that you only have one root element. Even though in view three, you normally can have more than one root element, but we're gonna have only one here. And so I'm gonna surround everything by a div. I'm gonna put a nux link, which is an internal component. You don't need, you don't need to import it in. And I'm put two, and then I'm put in slash search. And I'll, I'll put a name as go to search. And this basically creates a link. If you click on it, it goes to the search page. And once again, on the search page, which is just this one, I can do the same thing back. And let's say next link. And then from here, go to home. And I can put two equals slash. Now I would go to home, go to search. All right, so we've learned the basics. Now let's put this all together and create an application that can search some TV shows using the TV Maze API. Let's begin in the pages folder. That's the root folder that we have in here. And I went ahead and off camera, I added in this, this app.css file and just has some CSS. If you wanna follow along, I'll make sure I'll include the GitHub link uh, in the description so you can take a look at it there. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I need to grab a few things. I'm gonna grab some refs from view and I'm gonna make sure I import in that app CSS file that I had just showed you. And we're gonna have this shows, which is we're gonna use this ref. It's basically a way to create a reactive variable inside view three. And we're gonna, with this script setup uh, composition API, and then we're gonna have this empty ref for search. And I'll need to get a URL, which I'm gonna copy and paste from my other screen here. There we go. And now I need to do a few things here. I wanna create a couple of functions that will grab data so I can have a button or something on the screen to do a search. So I'm going to create a function called search shows. It's gonna take in search as a parameter and we're gonna use grab data is the variable name, and we're just gonna use fetch for everything we do. So uh, to do the fetch, we're going to do this URL plus search. But yeah, I think that would work. We're going to, we need to grab the JSON data out of it. So we'll do grab data.json, and we'll do shows.value equals JSON. That's the first one. And then we're gonna create a function for the submit. And we just wanna simply, if, there's nothing in this search dot value, then we want to just uh, return. Otherwise, we're going to just call the search shows API with the search that's being, that we have here, our, our ref. And that should be it. So we don't, not gonna do hello from pages here. We're gonna create a form and then we're going to display all the shows. Let's see here. We're gonna create a form. Uh, we're gonna do submit prevent, and it's going to go to that submit. 
And then inside the form, we'll have an input. So I'll do an input here, type equals text, and I'll add a V model for search. And that should be it. Actually, I'll have a button here called search. And then we want to have shows. We're gonna have a div shows in it and then one for show. And this is gonna be a V4. So we'll do show in shows. And I've already looked at the API and I know it has this show.id in it. And so we're getting there. And then we're going to use that Nuxt link, which it automatically uh, converted it for me to Nuxt-link, that works as well. And we want this to go to slash search and it should, we want it to send over the ID. In other words, we want it to send over the ID to search so we can get more information about each episode or all list all the episodes. So I'm just going to surround this and then we'll do show.show.id. And then inside this Nux link, we'll have double brackets, show.show.name. And then we also want to show an image from it. So we'll have it uh, like this. So show.show.image.medium. And we're binding it, of course. And I think that's all we want here. So let's see if it works. Okay, so I have a search at the top now. If I type in, I don't know, um, let's say girls. Now you can see, oops, I think I did this wrong right here. I think I have a bug. This right, when I'm doing the URL search, this just should be search.value. Always gotta remember the values. So if we do girls, you can see here the girls TV show, shining girls, uh, friends, that's another good one. Cool, so we, we have all the artwork, we have the text and everything. And like I said, this is pulled from, I had a CSS file here. And if I click on one of these, it'll go to it. And obviously we don't have anything right now, but we should be able to, to um, get some more information on that previous page. So let's, let's try that. We want it to, after you search for something, uh, let's see, outer, like outer range. I've been watching this lately, great show on Amazon. I want it to be able to pull up the episode list right here using that same API. The next thing we need to do is go into our ID view file and change this around a little bit. So once again, uh, I'm gonna import in. We're gonna import in on mounted. So we want it, as soon as it mounts, we want it to do something from, uh, from view. And we already have our counts route here. We're gonna have something called episodes. It's gonna be an empty array when we start off with. And now we need our on mounted hook and we get it put in the callback here. And this is where we're gonna do stuff. So I'm going to copy and paste from my other screen here, the URL and the fetch statement. So that's, that's the URL. Basically what we're doing is we're taking the params, the ID that's being passed through the URL and we're passing it into this fetch statement that goes into this URL so we can grab the episodes. And so it kind of puts it all together what we've been doing. So fetch data, we have to do another JSON. And I know like a lot of people like Axios. I just, this is not too bad. Dot value here. And we're gonna have embedded episodes here. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting some errors, but we'll come back to that in a second. It's probably because um, we have this reserve wait, oh wait, let me get, make this async. And, but we don't have it displaying anything yet because we have an empty template. So let's change that. First, I want a Nux link here. And this Nux link, this will be a button that will just go back and we'll have this go to the root. And beyond that, we'll need to have, also I like to surround this whole thing in a div. Remember, once again, we want to have one root element. And we'll do an h3 here, list of episodes, so we know what they are. And then we're gonna have, this is almost exactly like we had before. We have a dot shows, and we have a dot show, 
and we'll do a v4 episode uh, in episodes and we'll have a key which is going to be the episode id and now inside here we need another div and then inside this div we'll have the episode name and then we'll have season episode dot season and then we'll have here episode episode dot number and then finally we'll have an image and the source we'll do a v bind here the episode dot image and some of them don't have images that's why we have to put this question mark here so if we did that correctly and I always know I did it correctly when I save it and it auto formats. If it doesn't auto format, then I probably did something wrong. Now let's see if it works. So let's do outer again. And we'll click on outer range. And see, it doesn't show the difference. Sometimes I've seen this happen where it's still showing my old. And I just stop and restart the server. And I refresh again and see if it works. Cool. So it looks like it has all the pictures from the episodes, the episode names. So let's try something again. Let's try friends, click on friends. Cool, so now I have them in here and this is kind of blown up a little bit, but you could see I have each one of the episode names and this actually has like all hundred episodes. And if I wanted to, I could link, these links could go to another dynamic route that has specific information for that episode and I could hit another URL. So I hope you guys learned something today about creating routes in Nuxt. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. If you guys have any questions, comments, leave a comment below and also I'll have a link to it. And by the way, I'll give a quick shout out. Um, if you guys need some help with development and programming, I do offer mentoring. I'll put, I'll put a link in the description for that too. And you can, too can get help. Thanks.